What's up, everyone? It's your boy Hobo back here with another Persona 5 World custom build video. If this is your first time watching, welcome. Hopefully, you'll stick around for more. This was another viewer requested video from the wonderful Destroyer creator. They had asked for a build based off Orpheus or Messiah. I'm going to be blunt Orpheus is a trash starter persona, and Messiah is really boring. It's just one note, you can't do too much with it. So I was like, I don't want to leave them unsatisfied. So what I decided to do was I took Orpheus and I decided to go with a build that's based off Orpheus Telos. Now you're probably sitting here going, well, you know, all Orpheus Telos has is Victory Cry and everything else is fusion based. But guess what? You're wrong. Persona Q gave us some skills. Bring these little bad boys on the screen here. Wham. I have actual concept to build a bottom. So I did take elements from both Persona 3 and Persona Q to actually make this build. I'll go over that a little bit more in detail. So first things first, I didn't change the trait. It's edgy, it's emo, it's funny as shit. I couldn't find myself parting with it. It's Persona 3 in a nutshell and it just oozes old school hot topic flavor. But the skills are pretty much one to one parallels. So to begin with, Inferno. So Inferno is pretty much to fill in Flame Link, Flame Link is a cut, fire, one single target attack. Cut doesn't exist in this game. It's Persona 5, not Persona Q. So this was the closest I could replicate with the highest damage fire skill. So that's going to pretty much be the same thing with Salvation. Salvation is the parallel to Healing Harp. Healing Harp heals, removes ailments, and bind. Bind doesn't exist, but ailments still do. So Salvation fills in that gap. Now... I did stick with Fire Amp. It is pretty much a cup, excuse me, copy and paste from the actual original moveset. Really not much detail to go into on that one. So this is where I had to take some liberties. So as you can see, I have Firm Stance and three Null Skills. The reason for that, Firm Stance is to fill in the void of where Orpheus Telos has resistance to everything but Almighty. I'm using Orpheus as a pallet. He's kind of shitty. He has two weaknesses and a resistance to bless. So, to stick to the flavor as best as I could, Firm Stance pretty much gives me the pseudo resistance to all attacks by taking half damage. It does not remove weaknesses though, so to fill in the void, I had to put in no bless, no curse, and no electric. You're probably like, that's cheating. Yes, it is totally cheating. But to be fair, do you really want to watch a build where I just die instantly or get zapped? Well, that's no fun. It just leaves me wide open. But we are going to finish off, of course, with the coup d'etat, Victory Cry. No explanation needed. It is pretty much self-explanatory. It is the iconic skill of Orpheus Telos. But it does actually save my ass with this build. Because Inferno and Salvation eat the hell out of some SP. Not going to lie, if I was doing this back-to-back -back without this, this build would be absolute trash. So I do think that is actually a key part of this build. To go with the build, I had to make sure that the stats matched the purpose of the skills picked. So to begin with, I picked magic to max out first. I'm already weak on Inferno because I don't have any of the two boost skills. So I have to make sure if I'm burning the shit out of you, I'm at least singeing you. I can't leave you to dust, but I can sure as hell piss you off. Endurance, I'm a door. You're not supposed to bust me open and I'm sure in hell about to not give you an ability to do so. Sure, you could give me some Psychonesis bullshit with some technical mental, and you could burn me. But bitch, I stand tall. That's the reason it's here. So, I know you're probably sick of hearing me talking. I'm going to get straight into some gameplay, but I do have to go through the usual YouTube propaganda. I hope you like, comment, and subscribe. Please stick around for more. If you have any ideas you'd like to see, comment down below. If you want to see me doing these in action, I actually stream these on Twitch. So if you want to come visit me at twitch.tv slash manifesto, maybe follow, stick around, have a conversation. It's fun because God knows this takes about three hours to build one of these sons of bitches and I am so sick of hearing that'll do, that'll do. What are you waiting for? Fuck the damn twins. But enough of the chatter. Let's jump into the shit. Hope you have a wonderful evening or day, depending on whatever time you're watching this, or maybe if time just stops. <laughs> I hope you have fun. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and put in some uh, PS notes here. So, I had to remember the fact, I'm actually at the end of the game pretty much, except for the last semester. Uh, most enemies I'm running across are either immune to fire, or oh, just yeah. straight up take forever to kill. 
that's not fun to watch at all. So what we're going to do here is we're going to roast some little shits. So thank you for sticking around to the end of this nonsense here and watch some burn bitches. Come on. 